Hi, and welcome to the Coronado World Peace Center here in San Diego, California. Today I just wanted to show you how to do a little altar in your home so that you can do a little puja to the people in your life or the spiritual people in your life who have helped you along the way. In my life, we have Swami Kaleshwar, the Virgin Mary, and Shirdi Sai Baba, and the Guardian Angels, and my book. Adults have come into the world as the family of light. Kids today are coming in as the family of love. Holding hands together unites us in the circle of love. Introduction. This is a story of letting go, of letting go of every material thing, of every belief, of every thought I have ever had about myself or anyone else. This is a story of separate paths to freedom, all individual and yet all the same, each a journey of remembrance back to whence we came, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, the internal journeys of life which dissolve back into the arms of the Divine Mother, back into the essence of the God Self inside of each of us. For the past five years, I and many others in this book have been on a journey to spirit. My particular journey has taken me around the world, analyzing my belly button, as they say, to find the meaning of life. My leap into the unknown started when I awoke to the infinite possibilities that life held for me and everyone. To the experiences I never before knew were available in my limited perception of life up until each point of new awareness. I have been blessed with beautiful earthly experiences in my life, having had parents, a sister, family, children, and grandchildren and friends that love me. Over the past three years, I have now also been blessed with the heavenly presence of the Divine Mother vibrating through my being. I have a direct experience of our divinity as humans and have remembered my angelic self. I want to share that experience with everyone. If there is any way that I can help other human beings to have for themselves in this lifetime the experiences that I have had and I have been blessed to experience through the knowingness of this divine presence which resides in each of us, then my life here on earth will have been fulfilled in its divine purpose. I have also been honored in this lifetime with a voice through which the angels sing when I surrender this vehicle to them to be used for comfort and healing. bring a message to the world, a message of light. When you can put light into your life, into your day, into every moment, you shift the energies around you and eventually the world. A powerful journey of awareness, personal freedom, and spiritual transcendence. Quote from Don Miguel Ruiz, Coltec shaman and author of The Four Agreements and the mastery of love. The Divine Mother is always looking on the universe. A quote from Swami Kaleshwar. Ave Maria is a true story Indeed. about the processes of many beings who have experienced the truth about who they are in this lifetime. The discovery of their true nature. In the Hindu religion, the power or the Shakti aspect of the Divine Mother is represented in the forms of Kali and Durga by the carrying of many weapons. The path to full God realization is an internal war filled with many obstacles. The battle becomes the challenge of cutting through and shifting the Maya, or the negative programming of the collective mind, which keeps us trapped in the illusion of our separation from God. When we clean our emotions and the attachment we have to our body, we transcend the karmic cycle of rebirth through the awareness that death is the biggest illusion of all. We are all beings of light with infinite possibilities that exist beyond the limitations of the small personality self, the mask that we have created and now believe is who we are in this reality. In reality, reality is a figment of our imagination. It is just a dream that is a lie. The truth is that we are all one and one with God. Humans are in evolution. We have chosen to come to earth to redream the dream and to learn the true nature of our self, our God self. Interwoven throughout this book are many teachings and processes for self-awakening.
taken from all types of religious and cultural belief systems, such as those of Native American Indians, Mayans, Incans, Toltecs, Shamanism, and Catholicism, and Christianity. Through the healing techniques of many guides, teachers, and spiritual seekers who are portrayed in this book, most significantly, the beauty and strength of the Divine Mother in the aspect of the Virgin Mary, Joya Como, the author, recounts her own personal path to freedom, the journey which led her to energy vortexes worldwide, such as Mexico, Hawaii, India, Egypt, Europe, and vibrationally awakened the sleeping essence of her soul. May peace prevail on earth. Acknowledgements. I would like to acknowledge and dedicate this book to the Divine Mother, the Goddess Energy of the Universe that lives in each of us, to my spiritual masters, Swami Kaleshwar and Shirdi Sai Baba, my Nagual guide, Don Miguel Ruiz, to my sister, Gaia. Hi, Gaia. Hi, Gaia. How are you? Great. Great. Good to see you. Thanks. Nice seeing you. Yeah. I was just wondering if you would like to say something on our video about Miguel or Teo or me. <laughs> well, some of my favorite people. One of my favorite places, um, a magical place for transformation, transform my life. What did it do for you? Well, it's a place where man becomes God, and I had a mystical experience there. I've had many experiences in Teo. Story of my journey into spirit and some of the artwork that we've done on our journeys, like to Teotihuacan which we'll be showing you right now how to use this digital art, how to create it, and how to make money with it in your own personal spiritual growth. How would your day be different if you really knew that you were a divine being walking the earth? When we clean our emotions and the attachment we have to our body, we transcend the karmic cycle of rebirth through the awareness that death is the biggest illusion of all. We are all beings of light with infinite possibilities that exist beyond the limitations of the small personality self, the mask that we have created and now believe is who we are in this reality. In reality, reality is a figment of our imagination. It is just a dream that is a lie. The truth is that we are all one and one with God. World Peace Productions leads journeys, sacred journeys around the world. We're here to help you learn how to be that spiritual being that you really are and connect yourself to that divinity inside of you.
Adults have come into the world as the family of light. Kids today are coming in as the family of love. Holding hands together unites us in the circle of love. My name is Joya, and it is my mission to bring a message to the world, a message of light. When you can put light into your life, into your day, into every moment, you shift the energies around you and eventually the world. A powerful journey of awareness personal freedom and spiritual transcendence. Quote from Don Miguel Ruiz, Toltec shaman and author of The Four Agreements and The Mastery of Love. The Divine Mother is always looking on the universe. A quote from Swami Kaleshwar. Ave Maria is a true story Indian. about the processes of many beings who have experienced the truth about who they are in this lifetime.